what's up guys? Well, gosh, I just said hey really loud. <laughs> what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt, and we are on our Clash Without Walls account. Uh, we actually just got attacked, so that's why you could see all of those uh, little bubbles right there. Um, but <clears throat> I think we're going to, first of all, let's see uh, the defense log. Um, let's watch this one that we just got attacked on. Uh, so there was 188,000 gold available, 169 uh, elixir available, and it looks like he decided to attack from the left because that Tesla was um, updating or upgrading, and then now he's attacking from the top right as well with that cannon because that archer tower is upgrading. So we've got two defenses down right now. So that's one of the reasons that uh, this guy was able to get in there so well because you can see this one Tesla that we do have is doing a lot of damage to the Giants. Um, if only we had both of them up, we would have done a lot better. But um, he's just getting rid of the defenses, doing a great job with that. And then looks like he's going to just drop in some goblins after the fact to take everything else out. This Tesla needs to do more work to these giants because these giants are about to go and just go freaking crazy. Um, oh no, we only lost one off of that spring trap. Come on, normally you're supposed to lose three. I guess they all didn't go on to it. Um, but this wizard tower should do a good job of taking these guys out with this mortar. There go... That better have been more than one, but it only looked like it was one. Come on, wizard tower. Help us out. Dropped off his clan castle. Now he's got his goblins out, and he is going to town. Um, <laughs> that's the problem with upgrading defenses, but obviously that's what's going to happen. He did take a long time to attack, though, so you can see... Uh, he missed out on a good amount of loot because of how long he had to wait for his 33 giants to go to town since they do walk around very, very slowly. So he had a good attack strategy, but I probably would have dropped some of the goblins a little bit earlier or brought some archers and some and a little less uh, giants. But we're going to go ahead and go to the attack log and let's watch this last one right here that I had. This guy had a ridiculous amount of loot and I thought that it was all in the mines and pumps because on the outside you can see right there that uh, the elixir ones are completely full so we're just barching as always down here on our Clash Without Walls account because it's so easy and you get so much money. I'm going to take out that mortar right there and deploy pretty heavily from the top so that we can get in here and get to all of this loot. Now, this gold storage right here is going to be our biggest problem uh, to get to because that mortar and that wizard tower are protecting it. But thankfully, we've got all these troops coming in from the top of the base, spreading out, going to town. The archers are going to get so much loot for us. Uh, you can see they're over here working on both of these storages, just going at it. And we really need to get through this wall right here. There they go. So now those archers are through that wall and they're going to start picking off that elixir storage. And thankfully that mortar just shot right over here and killed those guys because it gave these archers up top time to take out that final elixir storage for us. So we were able to get 309,000 elixir that's a lot of elixir. That is a whole bunch of elixir for sure. Um, let's go ahead and see. So right now we're finishing up our wizards. The next thing that we have to upgrade is balloons, wall breakers, or the heal spell right here. Um, <clears throat> but obviously we've got to wait another 20 hours for that to happen. Um, so one of our Teslas is upgrading right now. We can almost upgrade another one. But I do think what I'm going to upgrade is another archer tower, especially since this one will be done in 19 hours. Um, all of our cannons are max, our mortars are max, everything is max, and we are moving on up on this Clash Without Walls account. So let's go ahead and upgrade that archer tower right there, and let's go on the attack and see if we can find ourselves a base worthy of attacking. All right, So I'm going to go ahead and search, and then I will be back with you guys in just a couple of seconds with a base that I find worthy of of attacking all right so i'll see you guys in a few all right guys so we are going to attack this base because as you can see the majority of the loot is in the uh <clears throat> the mines and pumps so we're just going to start off up here at the top dropping off some of our barbarians coming down the side a little bit um making a good wall of them and then bringing in a couple of archers behind them to start working on um that we've got this gold storage down here uh, we've got, <clears throat> sorry about that, we've got an elixir pump up here at the top, and it does look like uh, there's a lot of gold in these mines and pumps, or in these mines right 
up here. So we really need to make sure to get our archers over there so that they can take that out. Uh, they should be switching over to that other one. Let's see how much is in that. So it was at 49,000 and from the look of it, uh, that mine right there had about 30,000 in it. Uh, so the rest of the gold is down here in the corner in those, uh, in those storages. So now we have got 60%, so that means we're going to get our loot bonus or our league bonus, which is always a plus. That's a benefit for us. So we can actually go ahead and end the battle right there. Super, super easy attack. 133,000 gold, 113,000 elixir. And guys, if you have your barracks boosted, you can raid every couple of minutes and find bases like that really, really easily and bring in like... 100,000 gold or, or more every uh, every 10 minutes or so. So that's freaking awesome. Um, let's go ahead and I'll show you guys this other attack down here that I had before this afternoon. Another pump raid. So this is what I'm talking about. You can find these so easily down here uh, in the silver range that I'm at right now and just raid every 10 minutes or so and get this. Uh, so that's what, like 600,000 an hour at least. Uh, generally over a million an hour or so so not too bad uh, definitely makes it fun and exciting uh, rating down here so I got all the loot on that one and then we ended up getting the 50% so that we could get that loot bonus as well um, but let's see what we can upgrade with our elixir so we can actually upgrade this gold storage right here which is perfect we need to do that and very soon we're gonna need to upgrade our elixir storages as well to get both of those up but we have no builders available right now so uh, next episode is gonna be in a day or two thank you so much for watching guys I really do appreciate it um, let me know if you guys are still barching because I most definitely am the mortars have not affected me at all uh, but yeah as always guys make sure you keep calm and clash on for me right I'll see you guys later peace